Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Frugly Andy here and today I've got something really brand new for you guys. I'll be, what I'll be doing is going through my predictions for the FIFA 13 player ratings. Obviously it's just my opinion so please respect that. I'm not the most knowledgeable football person in the know so they may not be all accurate. Just my opinion so feel free to comment below what you think these overalls should be. So yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to start at the top, big Man City, who won the Premier League. Uh, what we'll probably do is later on, we'll, next episodes, we'll go through the Premier League. And if you want to suggest teams, suggest them in the comments below or on Twitter or something, and I'll make sure I get round to doing them. Now we're going to go into the squad and... Here's the Man City squad. We're going to start at the back. Joe Hart. We're going to have to keep it nice and quick because otherwise the video is going to be very long. So Joe Hart I've got going from 83 to 85 basically because he's undoubtedly one of the best keepers in the world. He's had a very, very good season again at Man City making some great, great saves. Obviously I've got his attribute things on the left-hand side. I've edited it edited them slightly to what I think they should be. Obviously, feel free to disagree or comment below on your opinions. Um, now, we've got Lescott going from 80 to 82. He is another very good defender, had a good season. If he got upgraded, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe not to 82, but upgraded nonetheless wouldn't be a shock to me. Now we've got Vincent Company going from 84 to 87. Basically, this man has to be upgraded. He's just one of the best defenders in the world, I'd say. So, 87 may be a bit high, but we're looking at maybe the higher 80s. So, 85 upwards, I'm saying, for Vincent Company. 87, for me, would be the ideal prediction. Now, Mika Richards, who's 80 overall, got him to 81. Basically, had a good season. Nothing off the scale, though, to make him be pushed up into those mid-80s. Still, I think he'll be around them low 80s. If he doesn't get upgraded, it wouldn't be the biggest shock in the world, but I'm expecting him upgrade for FIFA 13. Now, Gail Kalishi, I've got him staying the same. He hasn't, done, he hasn't lit any fireworks this season, but he has had a good season. Nothing to make him be downgraded. If he got downgraded by one... Not too much of a shock, but upgraded by one, same thing. If he gets upgraded by a few, though, or downgraded by a few, I just can't see that happening. So, went for the 80 overall. Now to Nigel De Jong, who stays at 82 for me. I think he's had a good season, so he's done nothing to make him be majorly upgraded or downgraded. So, like Clichy... Probably we're looking at 82, maybe one either side of that. Now, the main man, Yaya Toure, probably one of the best players in the Premier League right now. And for me, he's Man City's best player. Maybe causing some controversy, just my opinion though. I really like this player. He's a right solid midfielder. So I've got him going from 85 to 87, could be even more. Maybe 86, I don't know. I just think he's a really, really good player. Scored some very important goals. Scored two goals against Newcastle, which for me personally helped them win the league. Obviously, the three against QPR obviously did, but them two against Newcastle pretty much made it so they were in the driving seat come the last day of the season. Now we'll go to David Silva, who I've got staying the same at 88, basically because he did get upgraded to 88, and then his form sort of, he was still playing well, but his form sort of what didn't reflect what he showed in the first half of the season to get upgraded. So probably 88 would be about right. Now we've got Samia Nasri, who unfortunately I have going down one. Not that he's been playing shit or anything, but going down one wouldn't be too much of a surprise for me. Basically because he hasn't exactly shone this season. He's had some good games. Had some not so good games. Got a lot of good assists. He's played well, let's be honest. But I don't know. He, he's got that 86 basically due f to his form at Arsenal. Playing very well at Arsenal. And then he didn't really reflect that form at Man City. So maybe just going down by one. Maybe even two. 
Now, our centre forward, Mario Balotelli, who I have going up by one. I know maybe you might disagree with that. If he stayed at 81, wouldn't be surprised if he went down by one. Again, wouldn't be too big of a surprise. But for me, he can be a really, really great player. So, obviously, on his day, he can be great. He can also be shit. But 82, wouldn't be surprised for me. Again, staying the same, wouldn't either. But... I personally like Balotelli, so 82 would be the ideal overall for me. Now we've got Sergio Guerrero, who stays at 88, similar to the David Silva situation, except Sergio sort of carried on in his form. But I think he didn't do anything to make him push for those 90 ratings. He, he did play very well. He, he is one of the best strikers in the Premier League, if not the world. So... 88, maybe 89, I can't see him being 90, and I can't see him being downgraded, so we're looking at 88 or 89 for FIFA 13. Now on to the bench, and we've got Carlos Tevez as the main man on the bench. I've got him downgraded by two, not because I think he's bad or anything, but due to his lack of games, the controversy surrounding him, didn't play a lot this season, so for me, I can see EA downgrading this man by maybe two or three. Not that he's bad or anything, because he did show it when he came back, but obviously due to his lack of games, FIFA tend to downgrade players due to that. Now on to the left back, we're going to, it's, sorry, it's Kolarov, who's, we've got staying at 79. Again, similar to the other players who I've mentioned, he hasn't done really bad, but he hasn't exactly done really well. He's scored some good goals. He's played well consistently, I suppose, but so he probably will be staying at 79. Maybe one of them players who gets up, up or down by one. So we'll go on swiftly to James Milner, who really is a superstar player, but he hasn't really lit any fireworks this season. Again, a disappointing Euros. He's played all right when he has played, done a job, but nothing to make him get upgraded or downgraded by the masses. Now, Eden Dzeko, who was one of the top players at the start of the season, scoring some really good goals. He did score quite a few. He got maybe, I can't even remember, he got quite a few goals, maybe 15, 14, something like that. Um, so he did score quite a few goals, but for me... He, I don't know. He didn't play t loads of games, so but I don't know. When he does play, he plays averagely, I suppose. You may disagree, but I just can't see him being 84, so we're looking at probably 83, 82 on FIFA 13, in my opinion, anyway. So now on to Gareth Barry, who I've got been downgraded by one. Basically, Gareth is getting on, so he's still a decent player, I suppose, but I can't see him being upgraded maybe stay the same but downgraded is probably the most likely route for Gareth Barry on FIFA 13. Now on to Adam Johnson who unfortunately I have going down by one not that I think he's bad or anything if I if I had my way I'd probably see him staying the same but EA are probably going to downgrade him basically due to his lack of action this season Usually, they tend to do that. If you're not playing games, they can't maintain that overall. So, he's probably going to go down. He might stay the same yet again, but I think we're looking at 81 is the most likely route for this man. Now, Colo Toure, who I've got going down from 83 to 82. He might go down even further. Again, similar to the Adam Johnson, Carlos Tevez situation. Due to, he hasn't been playing too many games this season, so... I think he was banned for quite a few games at the start of the season, so I can see him going down. He's still a very good player, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him downgraded by maybe one or two. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. The Man City team done. Probably be going back next time with another team from the Premier League. Feel free to suggest um, teams. Probably be going to one of the top teams though, but if you really want me to do a team of your choice, I will be glad to do that. Just remember, it is my opinion, and the FIFA 13 overalls may be a bit different, so these ratings probably will be completely wrong, but just sort of hypothetical sort of thing based on current form. 
hopefully get a bit of interaction with you guys saying, actually, maybe I think this guy should be different, maybe you're wrong, and I'll be like, meh, maybe, fine, just a bit of banter maybe. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and hopefully we can carry it on, just a nice quick thing we can do. I might bring out more, like, every day, you never know. So... I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. As always, you've all been sweeties for listening, and I'll see you lovely people later.